card. This is Andrea from Spreadsheet Tables, and today I want to show you how to collect your Facebook group membership uh, answers, right? Or questions or leads. So if you, I have this spreadsheet called Group Leads Data Management, Extract and Connect. So you can call it whatever you want. But basically, what it does, it helps you collect your leads from the questions. So you're not sitting him here manually collecting all the questions. Um, you know all the emails and their names manually it take, it's a very time consuming task so i automated that with the use of this spreadsheet so basically what this does i currently have 110 members requests uh, for my um, group and i'm just going to quickly walk you here so first thing that you're going to do when you set up a facebook group is to set up your membership questions so these are the questions that people have to, you know, it's your chance to collect the most data that you can that will be helpful for you uh, to use in the future. So the things that I ask for my, the members that are trying to join my group is uh, how did you find us? So this question is, I think it's really important because it, it shows you where your marketing is being effective, right? Are you being referred outside of the, the sources that you know of? Are you, is it uh, from organic search on Facebook? Or is it, you know, somebody it's sending people to you? So just so you know where people are coming from, it's a good information, good metrics to have uh, for your business. And another thing is tell me one thing or more that you want to learn in Google Sheets. So this question I use to create content for um, for my group, right? I wanna, I wanna know, I need to know what they wanna know, basically, so I can help them, right? It's basically, it's that thing like, help me help you, right? So they write their answers here, and then the third one is the really important one that I recommend everybody that has a business to have this question. So what email address can we reach you at to send you updates? You know, whatever it is, and says, don't worry, you won't spend or share your email with anyone else. Uh, and you can, I put some variations of these questions here. So back to the spreadsheet, we have four tabs, input data, members, info, leads, and questionnaire ideas. Uh, so you can come over here and take a look. You know, sometimes you just want to make sure that you have this question set up so you avoid uh, the spammers to come into your group and just completely destroy it, right? The spammers are really annoying and people leave, I leave groups all the time due to spammers. So this question is basically, it's personal or, you know, proof that you're human because spammers will not answer this. Uh, rules, if you want to make sure that you're reinforcing some rules. Um, the email grab, like different ways that you can, uh, you know, ask for their email. And then business promotion, you know, you can ask their business name. In, in this, again, you can vary whatever, whatever you feel is more important and relevant to your group and to your audience and to your business. So just some ideas here that you can use. So the main tab that we're going to work with is the input data. So first thing, before anything, uh, you have to do step one is to copy and paste your questions right here. So all you have to do, the way you set up here, you just come over here and control C and control V. That's it. And then you do that to number two. Double click and just paste it. So it copies the whole formatting. Double click and then paste it. And that's fine. Okay. You can move this. All right. So now, and this is, this step, you only have to do it once. Just make sure you save the spreadsheet, you know, uh, it saves automatically, but just make sure you remember uh, not to make a new copy. That way you go back to this and you, your questions are already preset. Oh. So um, next step is you're going to copy all your new members requests into the spreadsheet. So let's go back to my requests. So I have 110. And all you got to do is start from the beginning and then you scroll down all the way to your last request. And this spreadsheet takes up to 500 requests and that should be the last one. Okay, so all you do is do Ctrl C 
and then you come over here and control V. Copy and paste it just like that. Did you copy? There we go. So you copied it and then it's going to read everything. And now once this is done, it says calculating formulas. Now once this is done, you go to your members info tab and you have all their information sorted here. You have everybody that, you know, gave you answers. Um, so here I see that, you know, they come from Facebook search, Facebook search, Facebook search, uh, accidental search, Pam's group, Facebook suggestion, Facebook suggest, Sadie Smiley's page, email that somebody else sent. I don't understand this one. Um, Facebook recommendations. Okay. So, and then here I have, um, this is my question too. So it says, you know, the question that says, tell me one thing or more that you want to learn. And here I have the content for my group all here. So I know that I have, you know, I could make it emails, creating dashboards, review lookups, data entry, you know, all of this. So this is great content. And here I have their email. But now the beauty of this is the third tab, which is your leads tab. So you have everybody in here. It sorted all of them by the emails, first name, last name. All you gotta do is copy this and then enter in your um, service provider. I use, uh, I used to use, no, I don't use anymore, but uh, MailerLite and you can sign up over here. Now I use Funnel Gorgeous and I, they have their whole email uh, marketing inside of the Funnel Gorgeous, but, um, but that's what you can do here. So just copy and paste all your leads in there and um, you know, just map the fields in there and just, you know, it will pick up uh, the emails, their first name and last name, you just gotta map, map them. And that's it. And then once you're done, you just have to, uh, you, all, you can copy this into a new, um, spreadsheet so let's say you want to save this information you just go ahead and copy to a new spreadsheet and it will create it <clears throat> and then just click open spreadsheet and now you're gonna see all this this things right here like right it's like a big error thing so all you gotta do here just select everything all the way down Go back here and this is something again that you only have to do it once and then you click delete and now you have no formula so all you get to do you go back to your main one and you're going to copy you know this information that you want to save just control C and when you go to copy you make sure you are in the first thing here and you're going to control V but then you see down here just click this and click that va paste values only so now you have their information and you can do the same for this just go ahead and then you can click copy to uh, existing spreadsheet because now you already created it make sure you name this before leads now you come over here and look for leads and it should be this one and then you can open the spreadsheet it will open the same one and now you have a copy of the leads here and again same thing just, uh, just make sure you copy all of this delete all the formulas and then just go over here you can copy the, the title too and then just paste it and then paste values only and now you have all your people here and you can save this and you can keep adding and adding and adding because here it won't matter if you run out of rows, you can always add there are like thousand rows in here. But if you would need more, um, you can just add more at the bottom. You can keep adding to this and then you save this and then you go ahead over here 
and go over here on the input data and then you're going to clear all your information from your extractor so now you have your leads saved in here and this is clear and ready to go you don't have to make a new copy because you already have all your questions set up here so all you got to do really is um wait for the next you know notifications and then repeat the same thing hope this was helpful let me know if you liked it and i will see you in the next video